Good afternoon. Welcome to the first episode of International Air. I'm your hostess, Johnny Wu. Since the beginning of the semester, there has already been a lot of international events on PSU campus. Welcome back to International Air Special Edition 2011. Today we're going to talk about only children in China and their parents. However, as more and more Chinese young adults are going abroad to study or moving to a distant city to work, what do their parents do in their spare time? Let's explore that in this edition. Uh, we will talk about the story about Miss Ding Wenhai. Ding Wenhai 先生，一九三九年出生于古邑如皋，毕业于南通师范，终身从事教育事业。原为如皋市如城城南小学校长，退休后进入如皋市。老年大学研习国画艺术，虚心求教，刻苦钻研，天天坚持作画，转瞬十年，学有所成。丁文海先生擅长画牡丹，所画作品《国色天香》《花开富贵》《千姿百态》，色彩缤纷，艳而不俗，并兼善山水人物、花鸟虫鱼，参擦点染，描摹勾勒。Um, some research articles say, well, some of the only child in China are spoiled rats. Some of them, they say, oh, they are kind of advanced intellectual development. So which one is the truth? We really don't know. And but Dr. Vanessa Fan from Harvard University, in her book, Only Hope, she wrote, no matter what, only children in China tend to share a heavier responsibility to take care of both of their parents. Ding Wenhai 先生的作品屡次被全国的报刊杂志发表，报刊有《中国老年报》《老年周报》《南通市报》《如皋市报》等。作品多次参加全国、省市美展，前后三十余次，并多次获奖。丁文海作品多次举办个人画展、联展，得到大家好评。丁文海的画深得大家喜爱，慕名所画者来自四面八方，有北京、南京、四川、浙江、安徽等地的，也有如皋当地的爱好者。不管是外地书画爱好者，还是当地慕名而来的朋友，丁文海都尽量满足他们的需要，先后赠画一百多幅，因此其作品流传至。美国、加拿大、瑞典等多国，多次作画献给慈善事业，深受赞誉。学有所成后，将心得体会毫无保留授予书画爱好者，经常举办讲座，传授画技。丁文海先生退而不休，笔耕砚犁不止，寄兴于丹青汉墨之间，其经历业绩令我辈崇敬感佩。祝先生。And but Dr. Vanessa Fan from Harvard University, in her book Only Hope, she wrote, "No matter what, only children in China tend to share a heavier responsibility to take care of both of their parents." Thanks for watching. I wish you all have a great day, and see you next time on International Air. Oh yeah.